The Orlando Public Library is holding a special DC versus Marvel event on June 10th this month for everyone to participate in. It's the ultimate superhero face-off. So come pick your side and challenge your abilities with trivia and activities. This event is for ages 11 through 18, but you need to register to participate, so sign up. For more information on this event, visit OCLS.info. The Garden Theater, my favorite place, is premiering their Bluegrass concert series this month on June 13th with a series headliner, the Helen Highwater String Band at 8 p.m. Four masters of tradition, Missy Raines on bass, Mike Compton on mandolin, David Greer on guitar, and Shad Cobb on fiddle. Break the boundaries of what string, brands, string bands normally do and forge their own path in bluegrass. Blues and acoustic music, their music is high energy roots Americana flavored in tradition while simultaneously celebrating their own unique brand of modern string band music. For more information on this event, please visit GardenTheater.org. The World Ballet Competition's 2015 Finals is coming to the Orange County Convention Center's Chapin Theater this month from June 8th to the 12th. The World Ballet Competition's 2015 Finals will feature participants from across the globe. Now in its ninth year, the World Ballet Competition has established Orlando as an international destination destination for dance, with participants representing 32 countries. Unique to the World Ballet Competition is its instantaneous computerized scoring system, similar to the Olympics. All scores are posted immediately after each routine is completed. For more information on this event, please visit worldballetcompetition.com. Yes, the World Ballet Competition is great. It sounds huge. It is huge. I've been familiar with them for several years. Yeah. yeah. Good tourist attraction. You know what else might be a good tourist attraction is uh, is rowing. You know, it's definitely something different, and I was really excited to get out there and try it. Nice. Well, let's see how you did. We're here at Lake Fairview Park, and I'm going to check out the Orlando Rowing Club, where I'm from. It's called Crew. So let's see how they do this. So this brightly colored woman is actually Kim, the president of the Orlando Rowing Club. So Kim, what is Orlando Rowing Club? Orlando Rowing Club is a master's membership uh, rowing club. So we're open to any residents of Central Florida can come and get a membership to the club and join a sweep team, which hopefully you're gonna uh, uh -oh. get in a boat and sweep row with us today, which uses one oar. Okay, or so it's sweeping like yeah, this. Okay. sort of. <laughs> Uh, sort of. <laughs> Hope you don't do that in the boat. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, and then sculling, um, we also have, which are like the single or double boats, and uh, those folks use two oars. So uh, you can join and you can row at your leisure, join and come and practice with teams, and then we compete on many different levels. Mm. Yeah. All right, so what gets you out of bed at what, let's say, if we're here at 4.45, you're getting up at what, 4.15? Yeah, 4.15. Oh, well, it's great exercise. It's a total body workout. So like, you go to the gym and you have to use all these different pieces of equipment to get the same workout. Rowing uses so many different muscles. So we're going out there and we're practicing for an hour and a half and you're getting, you know, you're just getting a lot of physical exercise. And you're part of a team, so there's camaraderie and there's somebody to push you to get out of bed in the morning because if you don't show up, then... Somebody's gonna call you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So is this open for all ages or how does it run? Well, we have a master's program, which you have to be 18 or over to be a part of, but we share a boathouse with North Orlando Rowing, which offers a youth program. So they basically cater to any um, high school age child or teen who um, their school doesn't have a rowing program. Okay. So they're like a, a rowing club also. Well, I did not have crew at my school, so I want to get out there and try it. Maybe we can talk to the coach. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. Awesome. Great. Thanks. So now joining me is Coach Jason, and he does a lot with the youth activities. So how did you get into this? Uh, I actually started uh, back as a high school rower here in Orlando. I rode for Winter Park High School. And uh, actually when I was in college, I uh, kind of got recruited to, uh, to fall into the coaching business. And uh, it sort of just kind of led to one thing to the next. And then I found some success, went back to my alma mater. And um, here I am now, 12 years later, still coaching in the... Uh, so you've community. been getting up at 4 a.m. for how many years? Uh, most of those 12 years, so. So how does somebody just wake up one day and say, hey, you know, it's the middle of the night, I want to get up and get in a boat? 
Um, I don't know that answer. <laughs> you a little bit crazy, I think, but uh, dedication. But once you, you get to do the, the sport, uh, you kind of fall in love with it, and it uh, uh, becomes kind of addicting, as, as most things do. So what are some of the programs that you have for kids to get involved with? Uh, right now, we, uh, we work with um, the Orlando, uh, North Orlando Rowing Club, which is a junior program made up of middle school kids um, all the way up through high school seniors. Um, and uh, we pull from many different uh, area high schools uh, to give them the opportunity to, to compete in the sport. How does it work? Because the high school that I went to did not have rowing. Yeah, it's just like club volleyball, club swimming, anything like that. Um, they, you know, they're able to just pull from all the different schools. Uh, you know, we run our practices late in the afternoon so that everyone can be a part of it uh, and get the opportunity to do the sport. So then why are you here at 6 in the morning? <laughs> uh, well, 6 in the morning because I also work with the Orlando Rowing Club. And for the adults, obviously, getting in before uh, the workday starts is when it's the most ideal time for them to be able to row. All right, so can we go do this? Heck yeah, let's do it. All right. and slow here, Nancy, real nice and slow. All right, let's just do regular picture. So we'll do about 20 strokes, arms. Forward. Ah. <laughs> so nice and tall, nice and tall. Just let the arms work here. Just using the arms to start. Make sure you're not squeezing too hard on the handle. Okay. And then repeat. All right, ready, row. So swing, rock backwards. Let's swing the arms, good. Nice and slow here, guys. Lighten the pressure here. Keep it up right. Better. There you go. I can't keep it in there. Because the blade actually does opposite of what you want. So if the blade goes up, you have to push down the handle. So just follow seven in front of you. There you go. <laughs> That's all right. You're going to get right, a break well, here in a minute. Wait up here. was a great workout and a great time. I'd like to thank Orlando Rowing Club for having me out. This is something that you can do any time of year. So just stop by the website and check it out.
It was fantastic, and they were <laughs> super great. So if you ever want to try it, just check them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, designed for everyone from homeowners to police officers, the Central Florida Zoo's Reptile Department is offering a snake awareness program to help people properly identify venomous and non-venomous snakes. You'll learn what to do and what not to do during an encounter and how to keep snakes out of your yard or how to attract them. Learn to separate fact from fiction and more. To find out more, visit centralfloridazoo.org. Help celebrate the awesomeness of dads at the Daddy and Family Expo just a week before Father's Day. It's a full day of fun, food, and music for the whole family, along with some amazing giveaways and a fun fashion show. The Expo is on Saturday, June 13th at the Winter Park Community Center. For more information, visit birthandbeyondmagazine.com. Food Truckin' Thursday is back this month on June 11th at the Mills 50 Main Street District. The trucks vary from month to month, but recent trucks include Voodoo Kitchen Food Truck, Flaming Pizza Food Truck, and the SWAT Truck Mobile Food Truck. Stop by for dinner and enjoy a night out with friends and family while tasting all the delicious food this popular event has to offer. For more information on this event, please visit orlandoetplay.com slash event and then search for Food Truckin' Thursday. The second Thursday Wine and Art Walk is back this month on June 11th in the Thornton Park area of downtown. The event will include tastings and art at participating venues. Come ready to taste the best wines downtown has to offer with your friends and family. The Thornton Park area is the premier downtown location for all things wine. So come down and walk about the magnificent downtown area while you drink. And so for more information, on this event, please visit orlandoatplay.com and search for Second Thursday Wine Art Walk. Wow. I like walking. And I like wine. Hey, let's go together. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. No, it's a, it's a great event, the Wine Art Walk. I've, I've been there before. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I've driven past and been like, why are all these people walking around drinking wine? Hey, isn't that open container? Yeah. yeah. Well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess that's the perfect place to wrap up this week of events. If you have any that you would like to share with us for next month, send an email to cafe at ocfl.net. Until then, I'm Michelle Wargo. And I'm Corey from the Garden Theater. Remember to tune in next week to see what new and exciting events we have going on in your community.